Hello, and welcome back to another episode of To Read or Not To Read. And today we're going to be taking a little time travel trip back to the 1940s. We're going to bring some of the women out of the shadows and obscurity that they lived in and take a look at their bravery and accomplishments during World War II. The first book we're going to look at is this one. This book is about Virginia Hall, and she was an American who was on vacation when war broke out in Europe. But instead of returning home, she decided to join a French ambulance unit. Eventually, she became an undercover agent for the British. She was at the top of the Nazis' most wanted list, and after the war was one of the only women to receive medals from France, Great Britain, and the United States. Interesting fact about Virginia, she did all of this with a prosthetic leg. She had had a hunting accident in her youth, and she called her prosthetic leg Cuthbert. Next we have this book, and this book is actually talking about a German girl named Sophie Scholl. And she, with her brother and a couple of other friends they had college in Munich, Germany, decided instead of throwing their lot in with the Nazis, they would protest them. They formed an organization called the White Rose. They published pamphlets, handed them out, and they did it all right under the nose of the Nazis. Unfortunately, they were discovered. They were put on trial, and Sophie, as well as a couple of the others, were sentenced to death by beheading. Sophie Scholl was only 21 when she died. This book is told in verse, and it really gives it a personal and sort of intimate feel of what was going on and what it must have felt like to be trying to take on such a large organization. And finally, we have one of my all-time favorites. This one is a fictional account. It tells the story of two girls, Maddie and Queenie, and roles that were available to them during World War II. In this instance, they are pilots, and they join the Women Auxiliary Units, which means that they are ferrying supplies and sometimes injured men back and forth from the front lines. But it's not enough for them. They start taking on some covert missions and eventually are captured. This book is actually told from the perspective of one of the girls writing out their confession after they've been captured and tortured by the Germans. This is a multiple gasp book, and what I mean by that is there are twists and turns in here that you will shut the book, gasp out loud, pick it back up to reread the part that you just read. And so because of spoilers, I can't say a whole lot more than that, except it's amazing. And if you're anything like me, and you love a good twist, you'll be out recommending this book to everyone that you know. I'm going to go ahead and highlight a couple more books that are along the same theme, and if any of them look good to you, go ahead and check them out. Thanks for watching.